let's jump into nursing school. First off, you've done nursing school twice. You did undergrad, which we did together, and then grad school. And I've never done grad school. I'm I'm curious to know like what grad school was like. Like, was it tame, or do you still like take tests and then go drinking with your classmates? Like, what's <laughs> what's the difference here? <laughs> I think it was a. Uh... I, I, so it was, I went part-time. Um, so it was two and a half years. Um, so I guess the timeline was actually kind of similar, but there's something to be said about, um, having a job while you're in school because yeah. it's kind of like a big, I didn't work through college, but, um, if God forbid things didn't work out or you didn't do well on one test, it wasn't like now I'm not going to graduate and then I'm not going to sit for boards and then I'm and then I'm not going to become a nurse. And that, and, and like just that rolling kind of so thought, um, it was such a, a nice thing to know because I was working and in school at the same time. And it was great to be like, I have a job. I like my job. <laughs> yeah, if this doesn't work out. You know, like, so, yeah. yeah. Like, and, and also <laughs> the same thing for like, when I had graduated, I had the ability to be like, oh, well, like, what do I really think I want to do? Because I have the ability to look around and be a little bit more picky because again, I have a job. I like what I do. Um, and so like it, it afforded me the ability to be a bit more picky and, um, I had graduated and I think it took me, uh, a little over a year to, to get a job, which, um, was a blessing. And, uh, but it was nice, very different than undergrad when you graduate and you're like, oh, so I graduated and where's my job? And I have to start paying off my student loans and I can't, I don't want to move back in with my parents and, you know, like anything, that whole, I'll take anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it was, uh, that was different. The school was, um, it was different. Definitely like the, the things you learn because you already have so much baseline knowledge. Um, mm. I think the same as, as undergrad, I learned everything where most things I learned, I learned in clinical or I learned on the job, but definitely with the right building blocks. Like I couldn't, I mean, I, I needed to learn what to prescribe at certain times, but of course, like to look at a textbook at an ear infection, you're like, oh, and, you know, and then you see it for the first time and you're like, oh, you know, that didn't look like what I thought it would have or whatever. Um, yeah. the same exact thing, like I think in undergrad, but, uh, I definitely had drinks after tests if that was a part of the question. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, you had like that I, same bond, you know, like. It was, yeah, a little different. I think like, I mean, undergrad I, for us at least was like you lived around, everyone lived around the corner and, you know, like we yeah. were all so close. Uh, I made two really great friends um, and a lot of really great colleagues uh, like through school, but um, yeah, two really great friends who really helped motivate me. And, uh, we studied together and, you know, like complained, uh, but that, <laughs> that really helped a lot. And if I missed a class, you know, those things that you really, the same friendships formed, but, uh, again, different just because the ties were, it was only part-time. It was just a bit yeah. different. No clinicals were done together. So it really was all academic mm. learning. Um, as a group and then so much kind of individualized things. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Do you, do you get kind of a, uh, like rotation almost like, do you get to see different, um, disciplines in yeah. your clinicals? So I can't speak for every and every NP school, uh, majority of the ones I know of like that I have other friends in or mine, um, you seek out your own clinical. So my okay. degree, although a mouthful, thanks for reading it when you introduced me. <laughs> Man, uh, I got that's why it has to be got... like my initials have to be NPC because I, I don't <laughs> think I could put that many initials in a row. Um, the, when, we, when we first got it, you had to do at least one clinical in primary care because that's the, my degree. Um, mm -hmm. But I had done one in primary care, one in cardiology, and one in palliative care. Um, okay. but those were like where my interests were lying at the time. Um, and so some people were able to do them in the OR, uh, it was mostly supposed to be surrounded outpatient because that's the degree. Sure. Um, like they didn't really want you rounding in internal medicine. Um, my school was luckily very easygoing, but I think, um, from what I gather, 
of some friends and some Instagram accounts I follow, I think finding clinical uh, in a master's degree level often falls on the the student. And that is very stress driven to find someone who will take you on. And um, so it's, it's a bit, it's very different in that regard. 